Hello friends. So today we are back with another episode and today we are going to talk about vitamin B12 deficiency related disorders. So vitamin B12 is one of the important vitamins which are required for functioning of uh, nerves, both peripheral as well as central nerves in the brain and spinal cord and also the blood and skin. So some of the common and uncommon symptoms, once you know, it is easy to recognize and early recognition and early starting of treatment is the only thing that will make a great difference in terms of recovery, which can be uh, partial if it is if the treatment is delayed. So looking at the nervous system involvement, one of the most disturbing symptoms can be related to brain functions. So many people, they complain that they have poor attention, focus and concentration. And if it is left untreated, then it leads to forgetfulness, memory impairment, and even uh, dementia can occur. So I remember seeing one very young woman who was 25 year old, air hostess, and uh, she had come with complete dementia. She forgot almost everything. She got lost uh, from her home and it with great difficulty, her husband could trace her. And then, but luckily she, uh, she was diagnosed early within few months of her symptom onset. And then with the uh, treatment, she recovered completely. Other uh, symptom which can be mimicked by vitamin B12 deficiency is Parkinsonism. So people can have slowness of movements and uh, also stiffness or rigidity while uh, doing any activities. So I remember a person who had just two or three weeks of symptoms where he became, his posture was stooped and he was taking slow and slow steps, short steps and uh, very minimal movements of his arms while uh, walking. So clinically, it looked just like Parkinson's disease, but uh, his vitamin B12 levels were low. And as we started treating him, he also recovered within a few weeks to almost complete normalcy. Other uh, condition, what we see commonly is tremors. So you may have seen people, many people have shivering of the hands. There are many causes of shivering, like one is called essential tremor or familial tremors. Even Parkinson's disease can cause tremors. But in a small number of people, tremors of the hands can be due to vitamin B12 deficiency. In such cases, once you treat, then the tremors and shivering of hands also reduce. Then uh, one more thing recently I have noted is hearing impairment and uh, tinnitus. So hearing impairment, uh, as we know, it occurs in older people uh, due to aging and sometimes in younger people because of exposure to noise, loud noise over a long time. And uh, but if there is no obvious known cause, then we should also look for vitamin B12 deficiency, which can which are known to cause uh, hearing impairment as well as tinnitus and early diagnosis and treatment uh, can uh, get their hearing back and the tinnitus can also disappear. The next group of symptoms can relate to vision. So because vitamin B12 deficiency can affect optic nerves which are located in the eye and involvement of that can lead to blurring of vision or decreased vision. And there also, once we diagnose and treat, then vision can recover completely. The next group of symptoms are connected to peripheral nerves, where people complain of tingling, burning, or pain, starting in the soles of the feet. And as the disease progresses, it can affect, it ascends up, up to the knee level also. And finally, hands also can be affected. So this condition is called as peripheral neuropathy because the nerves in the skin, they get affected. And, uh, and these are quite disabling. It affects the person's life, the work, and also the sleep gets affected. And if the condition is diagnosed and treated, then most of these symptoms can recover you know, promptly. Then the next group of symptoms uh, will be related to psychiatric. So there are a group of patients who can develop depression, anxiety, mania, and even frank psychosis, like maybe schizophrenia. So if a person has got these uh, symptoms, and there's no obvious cause. At least once we should look for vitamin B12 uh, deficiency. And because if we diagnose and treat, many of these things can disappear and uh, recover completely without the need of, say, antidepressants or antipsychotics for long term. Because in a case of, uh, say, depression or anxiety or schizophrenia, treatment is required for long time. But if it is due to vitamin B12 deficiency, then treatment uh, can be completed in a shorter period of time. Rarely in neurology, we also see sometimes we have seen few cases of recurrent uh, fits or seizures. So again, in a person who's got repeated seizures and the cause is not very obvious, uh, it is useful to screen for vitamin B12 deficiency. 
so uh, so far i have covered the neurological symptoms and syndromes which can happen due to b12 deficiency the next group will be the hemoglobin uh, what is called as anemia because b12 is required for uh, rbc production and uh, deficiency can result in anemia also and finally not to forget the skin changes so it can lead white b12 deficiency can lead to hyperpigmentation of the skin over knuckles and also sometimes the face and inside the oral uh, mouth cavity mucosa so if you have a person who's got increased darkening or pigmentation over skin and again the cause is not very obvious look for b12 deficiency because treatment can uh, make it better because i remember a person uh, who was seeing his dermatologist and he was also given certain creams to apply to become fairer but finally it was b12 deficiency and that correction uh, made the skin come back to normal so today i have covered mainly uh, what all can happen due to b12 deficiency as you can see it causes a wide variety of symptoms so once uh, somebody is aware and suspects b12 deficiency screening is easy it can be checked with a simple uh, blood test and uh, there are certain groups of people who are more prone to get b12 deficiency in that those who are, those who are strict vegetarians uh, they are more prone because we know that the b12 is not found in a great quantity in the uh, vegetarian food even people who are taking non vegetarian diet they can have antibodies in the gut which uh, doesn't let b12 get absorbed properly so they also can get it so it's not that those who are taking non vegetarian food uh, cannot get deficiency of uh, b12 and then uh, there are certain segments of people who are say older people or those who have undergone any surgery in the gut uh, so they also are prone to get vitamin b12 deficiency so and once we have diagnosed if the levels are low and if they have severe symptoms we start with injections of vitamin b12 and then follow it up with tablets and many of these almost 80% people recover well but if the diagnosis and treatment gets delayed then the 20% people they may not have good recovery so i hope you uh, enjoyed and learned something from this episode uh, please like and share this video and if you have any comments or queries please post and subscribe to the channel to watch more similar videos in the future thank you